like to welcome you to the crew, but first we need to tell you some stuff. Some stuff. We here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza have had a rough couple of years. You might have heard about it. Because of this, money is relatively tight, so once you feel safe enough, we'd appreciate it if you could turn off the main power and come. This is done by using the switchback stage. Once you use this, we'll switch the power onto our generator. This power source is very delicate and must be used with caution. Things like your doors and lights will use up power over time. If the generator does happen to die on you, you'll have to go down into the basement and restart it. The generator room is found connected to the backstage. Just go down and press the button near the generator and it should sort itself out. It's usually locked though, so we left you a key in your desk. And uh, if you can, try to stick to your office. The animatronics are a bit feisty at night.
welcome to the Five Nights at Freddy's 2G mod map. This version of the map obviously includes events, which can be activated by going to the parts and service room connected to the main hallway. Um, once you switch on the buttons in there, the light will turn green, which uh, lets you know that uh, the animatronics are now active. Of course, the old animatronics are not yet available, but will become available once they are ready and I have implemented them into the map. If the light above an animatronic button is uh, yellow, that means it is being controlled by someone in the admin room. Once you enable the animatronics, you have about 30 seconds to get back to the office before they start moving. Everything else should be pretty straightforward, because, you know, it works pretty much the same as Five Nights at Freddy's. There is one exception, though, as the marionette will act a little bit differently, but I'll let you figure that out. Have fun.
Hi.
uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure assure you, Badbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Hey, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seem to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prior counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Sorry, Freeman. Shouldn't we be, uh, doing something? Sorry. Hey, Doc.
Pardon me. Ow! Ah, I'm hurt. Take this med kit. Well, Gordon Freeman. And about time, too.
Hello, Dr. Freeman. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Uh, by now I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous yeah, location, and we just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. The thing was just so ugly, you know? And the smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them it's super so kid-friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around. But if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too. So, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Foxy ever repair in the hallway? Probably not. I was just curious. Uh, like I said, he was always my favorite. Uh, they tried to remake Foxy, you know? Uh, they thought the first one was too scary, so they redesigned him to be more kid-friendly and put him in kids' code. Uh, to keep the toddlers entertained, you know. But kids these days just can't keep their hands to themselves. The staff literally had to put Foxy back together at the end of every shift. So eventually they just stopped trying and left him as some kind of take-apart, put-back-together attraction. Now he's just a mess of parts. I think the employees refer to him as just the mangle. Uh, oh hey, before I go, uh, I wanted to ease your mind about any rumors you might have heard lately. Uh, you know how these local stories come and go and seldom mean anything. I can personally assure you that whatever is going on out there, out there, out there, out there, however tragic it may be, has nothing to do with our establishment. It's just all rumor and speculation, people trying to make a buck, you know, you know, you know, you know. Uh, our guard during the day has reported nothing unusual, and he's on watch from opening till close. Okay, well anyway, hang in there and I'll talk with you tomorrow. Medkit. Sorry, Doc. Sorry, Doc.
Hello. Are we gonna get going soon? Sorry, Freeman. Sorry, Doc. Hello. Can we be of service? Greg here. Hey, uh, so sorry again for making you do this. You are an intern after all. But we're still over here in Alabama getting our equipment ready before we head off to where you are. We are professionals, so we need to keep track of our stuff so we don't look stupid. Anyway, though, so if you're familiar with the lore of the place, then you've probably heard of the photo-negative Mickey costume that wanders around. Thing is, though, you look like someone who doesn't care. You just want to let your time run out and get your credit. But if you do care, then listen up. That thing? From what we've heard, it can only hear. 
he can't see anything. So that means if he wanders into your office, then shut off one of your cameras. I know it sounds strange, but if you make a loud sound, that will lure the suit out of your office. You may have a small window of opportunity to react, so be quick about it. All right, I'll leave it up to you. Oh, and by the way, don't screw up any of our equipment. Dr. Freeman.
Hello, Dr. Freeman.
Get a cookie on a Friday night, yeah.